Today I'd like to introduce a new feature on EDA Playground, which is the ability to specify your own do file for model sim simulations. Now the model sim simulator, uh, and this is a simple run of the uh, FSM example here, and if you look at the command line that actually be, that's actually being run, you can see over here that um, it's passing these commands to the simulator. Um, so these are the commands that the model sim simulator takes and currently by default they're being passed uh, on the command line and, and they're always the same. Now some people have asked me to uh, add more flexibility in specifying these commands. So um, now there's a new options on the left here which says uh, use run do tickle file. So if we click on that uh, it's going to use a run do tickle file. Now if you just click on it and don't do anything else you're going to get a, an error because you don't have a run do file. So you need to create a run do file. Let's create one right now. And this file um, you know, you can use tickle commands here and uh, all kinds of different uh, commands that, that ModelSim supports. So if I simply just copy and paste what was on the command line and put it here and then I run it the simulation is going to be exactly the same, but instead of using the commands, we're actually going to be uh, specifying the do file over here. Now we can modify this file uh, as much as we want. You know, we can specify the different runtime here. We can get rid of this uh, on elaborate error resume, so we can see our any elaboration errors. Uh, we can also force certain signals, so here's an example of a command. Um, as you can see down here, we've got uh, the output varying, so let's just force this output just just so uh, we can see we can see the effect of this run of this do file. Uh, force out to zero. Uh, so let's do another run. And uh, we see that, uh, you know, out two is always zero right now. Uh, that's all for today.